All right, what is going on, YouTube? Today we got Dusk Chateau Heroic Challenge on a Veteran, level 10 Alric, and a fully upgraded tree. Well, let's go. All right, so starting off the map, you can see I decided to go with a Necromancer Tower in the center area like last game, and then more of an archer heavy comp throughout. Notice we have our hero, both heroes, standing up there. We're going to have a nice choke point right as they come out and drop a rain of fire and then call the second wave in really early so we can get that rain of fire cooldown. Whenever you see like a nice giant choke point, it's fun to start the wave, the, the game, with them all choked up. It usually works out pretty well. In this case, I get a really nice choke there and then I was able to drop a pretty early second rain of fire. You're going to need to have both kinds of damage, particularly the mage damage for the ghosts and the Fallen Warriors, the Sword Ghost. One thing I didn't mention last game, which I think is really important in this game, is notice the secondary hero we get this game, the female vampire. She can, she has an ability where she like whips her cloak around. You'll see like a pink flash. That does 10 times damage to the vampires that come out from the towers. They are extremely annoying to deal with any other method. So what we do is we use our barracks and our reinforcements to clump them up, and then we move our hero on top of them. She will do a cape spin move, and she will pretty much kill all of them in one shot. You can see just, it, um, if not a complete one shot, like 100 to zero, if they have even a little bit of damage, she pretty much kills them. So you can see me doing some micring where we try to get her to stand when they're all grouped up, and she will one shot area damage all of them. It is super helpful. In fact, I would say it's crucial this game to be able to do that. Otherwise, go ahead and prioritize on maxing your Archer Towers. Necromancer Tower, of course, very helpful to stall. Alaric is going to be on the side with the Werewolves and the Lycans, while you micro on the side with the Vampiresses coming out from those towers. Clump up the Lycans. You can drop a Rain of Fire if you'd like. I felt like we had enough Archer Towers to we didn't need to, so I just saved it. Because I knew that if I called in the wave early, I wouldn't have it up for the next wave. Also, the Archer Towers here, super good for these bats. I tried a more magic heavy setup earlier and I didn't have enough damage for the bats especially during the full moon because they move like insanely fast probably the fastest moving enemy in the game uh, a bat under a full moon is really really quick so you have to have enough dps with your archer towers to just chop those guys up huge clump on the abominations and nice damage killing the abominations is all about attrition the reason why we have the Artillery at all here is to get that stun chance just to buy us even more time. Same thing with the level one, level two barracks. I like to throw out the level one barracks as kind of like a temporary reinforcement. You know they're going to die almost immediately, but if you need to, you can quickly upgrade them again to a level two barracks. And they're very cheap. So it acts as a great stalling power for the rest of your towers. You really just want to kite these abominations with your heroes and make sure they don't die. The tricky thing about them, of course, is that they explode and they deal about half the damage to your hero, a little more than half. So if you're not careful, you'll lose your heroes, and then they just keep running right past. Otherwise, they're pretty bad at dealing damage. So even like a level 2, especially level 3 barrack tower, it will stall them out for a very long time. So keep that in mind, hence why we have multiple barracks here to try and stall these things out. Um, very last wave here. So we are just desperately trying to hold on, selling towers now that are out of range to buy as much damage as possible. And we just barely hold on. It's, it's a tough 6 wave. You just get everything thrown at you. Abominations, of course, so much damage. Slow moving, but under a full moon they move quite quickly, and then they just take so much damage to chisel down. So, micro, micro, micro. Anyway, that is it. Rain of Fire is finishing the last one off. Speed that up a little bit, and GG. Nice heroic logo. There we go.